everybody. My name is Bana Dishad. I'm in sixth grade and sick is G. So um, uh, today I'm going to talk about vascular plants and non-vascular plants. But if, uh, why I'm not in my house? Uh, I came to my grandpa's uh, farms because um, because in here there are more trees and I could show you guys uh, more uh, nature than uh, uh, more, uh, uh, trees in nature. So um, today, so first I'm gonna talk about the parts of the plants. So we have four parts of the plants. We have root, stem, leaves, and flower. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about roots. Roots, we have four types of roots. Four. The first one is fibrous root. Uh, this one is fibrous root. And this one, this is a fibrous root. Fibrous roots are those roots that they are um, small and they are not hard. And um, it is uh, true that they have lots of roots, but they are still, um, but they are still uh, uh, not hard. They are, uh, they are, they are uh, soft. So uh, if you want to pull it out, you can pull it out easily. So and uh, the second we have tap root. These two are tap root. Tap root. The shape it looks like a carrot, and the end of it it's kind of sharp. And um, it's going digging the ground so that it could, um, so and uh, so it could stay in place, and we cannot pull it out really easily. We can't put it like put uh, pull it out really easily. And uh, the third one we have a uh, prop root. Uh, prop roots are those roots that uh, even from the stem. Um, uh, even from the stem, see this one? This one is a root. This root, it will grow, and then it will grow under the ground, and then um, uh, so, so much roots will come out. But because nowadays it's really cold, uh, it, it's dead right now, it can't really grow. And see, it's like kind of broken. But um, if it was hot in the summer, um, it could grow. And this one is prop root. And the second one, um, we have adventure roots. So, um, uh, should we go? So, uh, come on, let's go. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys the adventure root, the fourth one. So, um, adventure roots are those roots that they are uh, sticking over, it's uh, sticking on the ground, like clinging and hugging the ground. So, now I'm gonna uh, show you guys. Over here, we have um, Advention Root, the fourth one. This one is Advention Root. This one. And I don't think that it fall down, no. Because look over here, it's over the ground. So, um, over, so it, when it grows the root, it will stick on the ground. And then, um, even under it, the roots will come out. And um, because it is... Um, it is cold nowadays, so um, it uh, roots won't come out in it being dead. So this one is um, adventure roots. So the four types of roots they are fibrous root, tap root, prop root, and adventure roots. So now we talked about roots. So now we'll talk the second thing, which is stem. Now we will go and talk about stem. On, huh, okay. So um here. So this stem, this stem, there are two tubes inside the stem. One of it is xylem and the second one is phloem. Xylem transports water and phloem transports food. So under the ground and um, there are roots as we know. So the root is going far and this one is tap root. So this tap root, which is going far, is getting food and water. When it got water, um, it, it will give it to the stem. It will uh, give it to the xylem, not the phloem. Because phloem, it transports food. 
xylem transports water. So it will give the water to the xylem part and the xylem will give it to the leaves and the flowers. And uh, with the stem uh, got food far away, it will give it to the phloem part, not the xylem, because xylem transports water. So we'll give it to the phloem and the phloem will give it to uh, the parts of the plant and the flower. So, uh, uh, but if uh, the so roots, sometimes you don't find uh, food and water at the same time. So when it got it, it will split the water uh, in half. It will give the water to uh, the xylem part and it will give the food one to the phloem part. So uh, this one was about stem. Now we will talk about leaf. So uh, leaf, um, it, when leaf, it captures the sunlight, it will absorb the sunlight and it will get energy and it will make um, fruit, it will make food and water um, for uh, the parts of the plants. And this one was about leaf and now we'll talk about flower. Um, uh, come on, uh, let's go find some flowers. So uh, now there are flowers over there. We will go and I'm going to show you guys uh, the flowers and I'm going to explain it. Here, this white flower. And there's flower over there also. Oh, uh, yeah. Bigger one? Yeah, okay. Let's... So this one is a flower. This flower, um, as we know, it contains petals. These ones of the flower, it's petals. And uh, in the middle, see, this one is nectar. Inside this nectar, inside the plant, there are, there are a, a female part and a male part. When they join together, when they join together, they will make a zygote. That zygote is the seed uh, it, or the baby. So, um, so that uh, zygote is a protected seed, and um, so yeah, and uh, uh, there's a protected seed, and uh, the protected seed, oh, <laughs> because it's cold, they are all, uh, 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 falling down. And um, this one was about flower, and so now. So, now we will talk about vascular plants and non-vascular plants. So, first we will talk about vascular plants. Those trees over here, they are all vascular plants. So, vascular plants, vascular plants, they have... So, this vascular plants, it has true root, true stem, true leaf, and true flower. So, um... Uh, so, uh, and it even have vascular tissue. So what is vascular tissue? As we say, vascular tissue are those tubes that they are inside the stem, which is xylem and phloem. Xylem transports water and phloem transports food. And don't mix it up. Don't say phloem transports water and xylem transports food. No, xylem transports water and phloem transports food. So, and, um, and, uh, so uh, the vascular plants, they have uh, protected seeds. Those protected seeds, they are like this pomegranate. So inside this pomegranate, there are some seeds in it. So um, how are we? So this one is protected seed. So um, we can get the seed out and plant it. How are we getting it out? Well, um, people, they are going to smash it and get it out and then they will try it and then they'll plant it. So they will have um, another um, a tree, which is pomegranate. And um, so, so now I'm so I'm gonna get my book. So uh, this one, this is vascular reproduction. So um, female part and male part, they are each in another plants, and um, when they join together, they will make a um, zygote. So 
the zygote, as we say, is protected seed. It's inside the fruit. And then, uh, for example, like even apple, when you're eating it, there are seeds inside. And they will plant it and there will be another tree of apple. And um, how does the, um, when the uh, male part is in another plant and the female part is another plant, how will they join? Well, how will they join? Well, the wind will uh, get the female, uh, the female part to the male part or the male part to the female part. And then when they, and then they will join together and um, uh, the, when they make a zygote, we will plant it, uh, plant it by ourselves. And now this one is uh, non-vascular reproduction. Non-vascular reproduction, um, uh, male part and female part. No. So this one is non-vascular reproduction. So plants and uh, female part and male part, they are both in one. They are both in one uh, plant. And then when they join together, see here being a bit bigger, that's mean uh, that they made a, a, a spore. So, uh, and then um, uh, the wind will take the spore, will take it far away so that it could grow into a plant. If it, if a small plant um, is be next to a big plant, it cannot grow. It doesn't have a chance to grow because the big plants, uh, the big plant need uh, more food and water. So, uh, so, um, uh, so it can't uh, uh, get water and food for themselves to grow because sometimes the bigger plant will steal uh, the food and water from the little plant so it cannot grow and um, so it, it have to go far away sometimes sometimes a uh, little insects and animals are taking it and sometimes by, by the wind will go far away so it could grow so now I'm gonna tell you guys what is non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants are these grass. These grass over here, yeah. These grass over here, they're all non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants, they don't, uh, they don't have true root, true stem, true leaf, and true flower. And when they don't have true root, true stem, true leaf, and true flower, and that's and that and also they don't have vascular tissue which is xylem and phloem and why is non-vascular plants shorter than vascular plants because non-vascular plants doesn't have stem and um, it doesn't have xylem and phloem so it, it, it will transport food and water from cell to cell that's why it's short So now we talked about vascular plants and non-vascular plants. Now we will talk about uh, now we will talk about angiosperm and gymnosperm. First, we'll talk about gymnosperm. So, gymnosperm. Um, uh, this plant. This pl this plant. It is a gymnosperm. Gymnosperm. Um, they have unprotected seeds, and um, for example, like pine tree. Pine trees, they are unprotected seed, so, um, uh, so uh, because they have unprotected seed, we cannot, um, um, so the wind is taking it to, um, to grow somewhere else, and um, the pine tree, uh, the female part is in a, in a cone, and the male part is in a, another one, so, when they join together, they will make a spore, and then uh, it will grow. By the, so the wind will take it um, far away so that it could grow. And now, after now we did gymnosperm. Now we will do angiosperm. Angiosperm like um, this pear tree. This pear tree here. This pear tree. It is angiosperm. Angiosperm, it have protected seed. So this period, there is seeds inside, which is protected seeds. And then um, it, the wind will not take it far away to grow. So um, uh, we, when we are eating it, it will grow. Uh, we will go take the seed out and um, plant it somewhere far away from the big plant so that it could grow and we'll have more peers. 
So, so I am. Um, so this pier, this pier, um, it uh, the seeds are protected. See, because it's inside the pier. So, um, the seed it will be in the middle, and um, these are the seeds of it. We can, when we eat it, we will get the seed and plant it somewhere else, so that it could grow into another pear tree. And this one was about angiosperm. So. So uh, now, um, uh, so uh, why does uh, no? Sorry about that. So why does uh, gymnosperm and angiosperm they need a good weather so that they could grow? If there is like a really cold weather or a really hot weather, they can't grow. It must be like not too hot and not too cold. It should be warm, and then they will grow. So uh, now we finished about gymnosperm and angiosperm. Now we will talk about seed germination. So I brought uh, seeds with myself. I planted some seeds. I didn't plant them. I grew them and one of them, the roots came out. But I didn't plant them because I wanted to bring it so that I could show you guys. So this is uh, the seed. We will, uh, let's go there. And I'm going to show you guys. So, um, this is my seeds. See, this one growed. It even it, the leaf came out. This is the leaf, and um, these are the roots. So, uh, what? So, um, so um, uh, how, so uh, now I'm gonna tell you guys the steps so that how uh, you can grow these seeds. So, um, the first step, you will go get a seed, you put it inside a glass of water, but not full, like half of the glass, and then leave it for, um, for, leave it until it will swallow. What does that swallow mean? That swallows mean that it absorbs the water, and, um, when you saw it got swallowed and absorbs the water, uh, and, um, uh, get it, put it inside a, a fabric or cotton or tissues roll it up and then um and then uh, it will and then um put it back inside the glass of water but not whole of the water half of the water and then leave it for seven days and then um when you saw it when you saw this white thing at the middle this one is the embryo so uh, this one means embryo when you saw that embryo get it out uh, plant it and then when you plant it these roots will come out and the stem and the sleeve will come out so these are the steps of the seed germination so i hope you guys understood understood and this is the end of my video and i love you guys so much bye bye